great to be here in Darwin, great to be here with your local MP, Jake Berry, and thank you for the, the warm welcome. When I tell my wife that I, I was at Grand Paint, she would probably say, now you can do something useful like paint the kids' bedroom rather than uh, the rest of your job, but it's great to be here. We've managed to um, accommodate the visit to the, from the Prime Minister in a working environment to talk about manufacturing, particularly in the northwest of England. The visit itself has been put together over only a number of days because of the amount of security involved. And the visit itself has involved a quick tour of our site, our oil-based and water-based uh, manufacture and also now into the warehouse. Uh, one thing as noted is that we've been a, a very successful manufacturer in the last five years having been sold by our previous uh, parent company which took us on a journey through private equity. We're now owned by a, a Danish conglomerate and the strength of our business has um, improved in the five years since we were sold and uh, we are profitable we're investing in our business, both here and at our site in Hull. And our brand has got tremendous recognition within the UK. Pretty much 100% of the people in the UK know the Crown brand. We've got over 200 people with more than 20 years experience in this business. But, which is great for the experience that we have, is also a warning sign that we're all getting older within the business. So it's a must that we've got new blood coming into the business. So we've got a lot of experience, we know People know how to make paint within this business, but at some point in time, they will retire. And I need to introduce those skills at an early age so that we can attract apprentices and I'll be confident that we're still making high quality paint in the next 20 years. When I first started, I was nervous because it was entirely different for me, but everyone took me under the wing, if you will. And they're happy to show me, they have to teach me, because they know that some people, they've not got many years left, they're going to retire soon. So I'll probably be filling those spaces and they're just trying to get as much into me like, knowledge-wise as possible so I can do everything to the best of my ability and like they did really. You get tons of qualifications um, and with this apprenticeship from Crown um, I'm getting a degree out of it at the end. Over the moon, yeah, because it's a big company and they, they look after you and I've heard good stories about them so over the moon about it. I, I love it, I, like, I've met loads of great people, earning money and I just I enjoy the job, like, I enjoy coming to work. We're a success story, we've got great people, we're one of the biggest employers in the area, we employ apprentices, I think we do a lot of good things and you know we should be proud of that, uh, you know people care about what they do and that's important because we talk about our, our mantra which is it's personal and a lot of people, it, it is personal for people so every tin of paint that goes out the door, be it made or delivered or whatever and everything that goes behind that is really important to people so you make it personal, it's quite a compelling argument really I think to be quite honest with you. Relevant that you study at Lancashire, which is one of the um, locations earmarked for the advent of fracking. Yeah. Um, what's the government's view on whether they see that as the, the next big thing in energy? And are they concerned about the concerns on safety, earthquakes, fire out of taps? Yeah. And would it mean that Darwin potentially could be a seaside resort in the future? I, I love Blackpool too much for that too. Uh, to, 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 to You've had the Prime Minister visit. Yeah. Who's next on your hit list? <laughs> uh, Simon Cowell. <laughs> <laughs> Beauty returns, so will I. <laughs>